All right, here we are talking about the Canon. Oops, shouldn't probably rest it there like that. But this is the EFS 10 to 18 millimeter lens. And um, some lenses are just, you know, it is what it is. But this particular lens, you actually have some options. You can get, you know, between 10 and 18 uh, in terms of what you want um it how can i explain it? it it manipulates how wide the shot is uh 10 millimeters the the lower number being wider and 10 is basically as low as they go before you start seeing distortion so if you're looking if you're trying to shoot real estate and you're looking to get the widest shot possible you're going to want to pick up a 10 millimeter lens uh, and feel confident that that's pretty much as as big as you're going to get any more any lower of an option and it's going to start to to fish eye and you, you don't want that when you're posting pictures of real estate so i really do like this lens it's um it has autofocus uh, it has a stabilizer built in and um it does like I said, change between 10 and 18. I've never really felt a need to shoot an 18. I'm always in 10. And when I connect the lens to the camera, I always have to make sure that it is in fact uh, uh, positioned at 10 so I get the widest shot as possible. Um, it also, I was recommended to pick up this lens cover that goes over top of the lens. This actually kind of screws off I'm not going to take it off, but there's actually, I guess, normally you don't have this piece of glass over top of the lens, which is just supposed to protect the lens. Um, so I thought that was interesting <clears throat> that it just doesn't come. <laughs> Why don't lenses just come with a protector? It's like, come on. But yeah, so that's that. And, um, and it, this makes a huge difference if you're trying to make places look big. Um, it just does the and <laughs> it's um you kind of need a camera to get this wide up until the iPhone 11 came out, which has uh, I don't I have a 10. I'm get, I'm actually shooting this video right here on the iPhone 10 X, um, and I don't know what the millimeter uh, ratio is for the pictures or this video. But I know that it's not close to 10. You know, when I A, B pictures on my phone, on this iPhone versus pictures on this shot at 10 millimeters, the picture looks so much wider on the, the Canon professional DSL versus the, uh, the iPhone. Now, in the uh, release of the iPhone 11, the uh, millimeters I've been told or I think it's like 11, 11 point something. So unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, you don't really need to buy <laughs> um, expensive uh, DSLRs or mirrorless with the, the wide lenses because it looks like this new technology is actually being built into our phones. Um, so 10... Uh, millimeters of course is wider than the iphone 11, uh, 11 which has 11 millimeters um, and i said that the lower the number the wider so even so this like you know 10 millimeter is a little bit wider than what the iphone 11 is but come on i mean we're so close you're not going to really tell a difference so if you want to get the widest shot possible either you know buy uh, a dslr um with this 10 millimeter lens or just go to the store and get an iPhone 11, which is gonna be pretty similar in terms of the millimeter uh, range. So I'm actually not sure how I feel about that. Um, I'm interested in getting into photography, but I also feel like, man, if you can pretty much shoot a similar shot with your phone um, and, you know, you get a wide, it's not a resolution, get a wide, I don't know what it's called, millimeter, a wide view of a wide range. 
it's like, you know, anyone, <laughs> well, that's kind of how it is for any industry anymore. You know, technology just makes things so easy that no one needs any talent to do anything anymore. It's just, just let the technology do all the work. You don't need to use, don't need to learn how to use a camera, just, just point and shoot. Uh, that's, that's what it's coming to. But I digress. So, but I'm happy to have this. I think it does take great shots. I love the lens. I love this combination. And um, it's, it's really done wonders for my real estate uh, photography that I've been posting online that I just simply could not get out of this iPhone 10. Uh, the difference is very noticeable and I'm not even like a professional photographer. Like I'm just learning and trying my best to figure this out and I'm already getting pretty nice results that I'm satisfied with. So, um, you know, good entry level, uh, beginner, uh, pro camera for someone who's just starting out and wants to get their feet wet with, um, with a DSLR camera from Canon. One of the most popular companies, I might add. You have Canon, you have Nikon. Those are pretty much like the two biggest ones in the DSLR space. Sony is kind of more taken over in the mirrorless option. And I'm not even gonna try to pretend like I know about this stuff because I just watched a couple videos and that's all I can remember. So <laughs> thanks for watching this one if you're still watching it. Um, but there's, like I said, a lot better information about this stuff out there just wanted to kind of give my two cents about why i made this purchase and what i you know what my thoughts are so thanks for watching if you found this useful please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel i talk about a lot of different things as well not just well this is actually the first camera video but other technology things health things vitamin things uh, appliances uh, just miscellaneous lots of weird stuff so um yep yeah, thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one